I've waited for this moment for a long time. He is the lead singer of the rock and roll band with horns. They have sold over 40 million songs in the U.S., 23 gold, 18 platinum, 8 multi-platinum albums, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame member, Grammy winner, and a founding member of the greatest band in the world, Chicago. I'd like to welcome to the show Mr. Robert Lamb. Good morning, Robert. Oh, Scott, that's music to my ears, all that stuff. You've got a new song out that you wrote with my friend Jim Peterick of the Ides of March. Why do I feel all of the Illinois bands know each other? The Chicago, Ides of March, Ario Speedwagon. I think we've always been aware of each other, but the funny thing is Jim and I had never met until maybe three or four years ago when we happened to be on the same bill and... uh, I went over to him after the show and introduced myself. We traded CDs and said, hey, let's get together and write at some, at some point. And by the way, musicians do that all the time, and, and that never happens. They never do. How does that happen that Chicago, this band known for horns, and the Ides of March with a band known for horns that you guys just met a couple years ago? Chicago's been on the road since the very beginning. I mean... The first couple of years, I don't even remember the first couple of years because we were moving so fast. And I'm sure it, it was the same for Jim and the Ides. Well, Robert, I know you must hear this everywhere you go, but your music is special. Lots of people can write a hit song. Lots of people can write great arrangements. But what you and Chicago have done is more than that. It is it the horns? Is it the lyrics? What made Chicago Chicago? I really wish I... I knew how it happened, but I do know that um, when we got together, we sort of, you know, we sort of kind of shook hands and said, let's just take this as far as it goes. In many ways, it's um, it's the songs. They're, they're, so the songs are a little bit strange, uh, the, the way they're put together, but there's no doubt that between the, between the songs, the lyrics, the horns for sure, and the fact that when we perform, it's... It's a real band, so uh, you know, we're very proud of that. Well, I need to tell you, the reason I'm on the radio today is because of the legendary WLS radio DJ Dick Biondi. He put oh, me yeah, on the Dick radio Biondi. when I was 12 <laughs> years old, and for the past 29 years, he has been one of my greatest friends. And until recently, Chicago was not in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and I'm not sure if you're aware but Dick Biondi was so mad that Chicago was not in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame that he would call the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and tell them to take his name out of the Hall of Fame until you guys got in. Do you think that helped you guys get in? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I think Dick is someone hard to ignore, as you know. <laughs> well, let's talk about those crazy horns in your band, Chicago. Why was it important for horns to be a part of the band? At the time, it was a rather unusual thing for a rock band. Um, I have to give credit to the original founding members, uh, Terry Kath, uh, Walt Parazader, and Danny Surf, and they were they were the nucleus around which the band was built. But I remember getting a call. I mean, I was a student at uh, Roosevelt University downtown. I remember getting a telephone call, and I think it was I think it was Walt telling me that you know they had this idea for a band, it's going to be horns, and uh, was I interested? So I was interested because I I was planning on being just a music composer. I had no plans to be in a band. And uh, actually, it's worked out pretty good because I love writing songs. Uh, I still write music and arrange music, um, but I get to also play in a band. So the, for me, the thing was, these guys with horns were willing to play all the crazy stuff that I was writing. Well, let's talk about writing songs. Does anybody really know what time it is? Beginnings, 25 or 6 to 4, Saturday in the park. Some people are lucky enough to write one hit song, but you just cranked out one after another after another. Is it easy for you? No, it's never been easy. I mean, occasionally it goes, some songs come quickly, and some songs honestly take years. So, no, it's not easy. Well, Mr. Lamb, uh, and I'm going to try to do this without crying, but I really just want to say thank you. Your music has made my life better. You have brought 
joy to my life. Your music has made me feel incredible, and I'm lucky enough to have a job where I can talk to some of my idols and my inspirations. And I just want to say thank you. Oh, Scott, somehow we're going to meet face to face, and uh, you deserve a hug and a. Sh- and a- and, well, we can't shake hands anymore. Right. I but, know. Yeah. I hear you. Well, Robert, thank you for your time this morning. It really is an honor to speak to you. I really appreciate it. And uh, congrats on all of your success, and thank you for sharing uh, your talents with the world. Thanks, and thanks for your kind words, Scott. I appreciate it. There he goes. It's Robert Lamb right here on The Scott Miller Show.